Hey there, I'm Robin Jackson here with your Monday Morning Mind Step, where every week I help you make the leap from being a leader to being a builder so that you can turn your school into a success story with the people and resources that you already have. Now, this week's Mind Step is going from solving problems to finding problems to solve. You see, most leaders think that their biggest job is to solve problems, and they feel a lot of pressure to have all the right answers all the time and to be the problem solver in chief in their organization. Not only is that exhausting, it's really a complete waste of your role. Your role is not to solve problems. Your role is to find the right problems to solve. You see, if you only focus on solving problems, any problem will do, and you'll end up solving problems on a first-come, first-served basis. How do you even know whether that's the right problem to be working on right now? What if there's another problem that no one has even noticed yet that's actually bigger and more important to solve? Just solving problems keeps you playing a brutal game of problem-solving whack-a-mole. And what's more, solving the problem is the easy part. Finding the right problem to solve, well, that takes more time and more energy. There's a quote attributed to Einstein that says, if he had an hour to solve a problem, he would spend 55 minutes defining the problem and five minutes solving it. And that kind of makes sense. But most of us do the opposite. We spend five minutes analyzing the problem, we come up with a solution, and then we waste the next 55 minutes solving the wrong problem or implementing a solution that doesn't work. I see this all the time. When I ask people what their challenge is, most people respond with a solution instead of describing the problem. They say things like, we need more differentiated instruction, or the teachers need to do a better job of checking for understanding. Those are not problems. Those are solutions. The problem is usually something like certain students are underperforming on state tests, or student performance in class doesn't match the performance on state assessments, or students aren't reading on grade level, or they're falling behind year over year. But rather than taking time to ask why these things are happening, we've been trained to quickly reach for a solution. More rigor, more differentiation, PLCs, project-based learning, early interventions, and we grab these solutions before we really understand the problem. Look, I get it. We weren't trained to unpack the problem and quickly determine the root cause. Even our root cause analysis tools fail us. They, they make us jump to quick conclusions, often unsupported by the data, and they have us chasing our tails and solving the wrong problems. But builders look at problems differently. They slow down. Sure, they have a sense of urgency, but they also know that unless they truly understand the problem, they'll keep spinning their wheels. Remember, your job is not to solve problems. Your job is to find the right problems to solve. So this week, I want to challenge you to put your 55 minutes to understanding the problem first, because the better you understand the problem, the more likely you are to find the right solution. Try not to get distracted by the 337 million things competing for your attention. Instead, slow down. Look around. Ask yourself, are you solving the right problems? What problems are brewing that you're not paying attention to right now, but you really should be? Resist the urge to jump in and solve problems this week. Instead, look around and find the right problems to solve like a builder. And if you want our help to find the right problems to solve, I invite you to join me at an upcoming Builders Lab. Just go to mindstepsinc.com builders lab and get your ticket.